the the other thing you mentioned is uh lookout mountain labs and as soon as i saw that i thought whoa because i'm <laughs> i've come across that recently and for anyone who doesn't know listening it's a it it was a classified military us military film studio in hollywood in the heart of or in what you call laurel canyon which ties into other things which you probably know but uh for anybody who doesn't know this it's the the lab the film lab there that the military had was the size of the big studios but it was on it was only declassified i think about the 70s or 80s and it's only really being reported not many researchers have come across it until recently and w w what I, I i looked at the like they had several sound stages they had they were making more than <laughs> they were making more films than all of hollywood put together at one point mm -hmm. this is like in the yep. late 60s they had all the f they had so many different uh film people coming in so cinematographers editors all that but they would all be signing contracts to say it was to classified to such a degree that, degree that they could never talk about it. Now, officially, very little of their films have actually been declassified, but supposedly it's just, um, what would you say, Miss, uh, nu nuclear bomb testing. And then they would, so they would shoot that out in the, um, the desert or in other countries like Pacific Islands and they'd let off nuclear bombs. And then they'd edit all that back at this facility. But, but they've only ever declassified about 5% of what they've shot there. So do you, do you have any suspicions of what else they might have filmed there? Like prop, is it propaganda or is it? I assume it is. I mean, right. there were so many people involved in it. Uh, I mean, there were mm. the actors like John Ford and Jimmy Stewart and right. uh, Ronald Reagan and Bing Crosby and, and Marilyn Monroe. Um, and, uh, but other people like, like Walt Disney, and of course, Walt Disney was, he was working, he, he was working with the government to make propaganda films uh, for the war. That was, that was what he did. And um, from what I've read, he was all making uh, uh, porn, but I, you know, I wasn't there. I can't say for sure, but um, he, he could kind of be bought from, 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 uh, from my, right, my reading. So, um you know, these people were were working together and uh, creating something that was obviously not just bomb test. I mean, why would they need Marilyn Monroe for for a bomb test film in a hundred thousand square feet and and all this stuff that they that they had there? And so, um, yeah, some people have 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 made some interesting speculations, like the. Mm. Um, the, the moon landing film was actually filmed there by Kubrick, for example. I don't know. Right. Um, but, uh, and then um, some people have, have claimed that there was um, traumatic mind control movies filmed there. I don't know that either. I don't really okay. trust those it just, sort of It just gets scary to me when you consider, like I saw, I saw one film that was shot there that wasn't, it has been declassified, I think, but it wasn't, it wasn't bomb testing, but what it was is they were saying that a U U.S. Marines were saving people in the Philippines, and it was on a beach in the Philippines, and it was during a typhoon, and the U.S. Marines came in, and but they showed the earlier version of it. It was actually eventually released on the news, okay? But the earlier version was it was a documentary to show the potential of what U.S. Marines can do. But then they gradually, oh, interesting. they eventually used that footage to say that we we rescued some. Oh. Yeah. and I think at one oh, that's, point that's very were, interesting. yeah I think at one point they were looking to go into the Philippines more than they did they were in there militarily but not as much as potentially they were planning to but so then I just think you know when you ponder what special effects can do and all these they had some um, film special effects people who were cutting edge for the time working for them so <laughs> it gets quite scary what they could have filmed and released as news to me yeah, I think, um, I mean, there's so much of that being done now. They, they make all these things that look like they've been, look like they've happened, yeah. but they've actually not happened at, at all, or they've happened someplace else and they're pretending it's there. So I assume that they were doing that kind of thing then. Mm. And, uh, but maybe they weren't all 
released to the news, for example, maybe some of them were released to individuals and those individuals yeah. saw them and thought, oh, this is what's going on, you That's know, true. and it was a way of convincing them to, to do something. And um, yeah, that location is, is interesting. It was eventually mm -hmm. bought uh, for, by a rehab place called 180. And um, that place was, they, that was closed down because there was all this negligence and insurance fraud and 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 uh murderers and stuff right so so then jared the actor jared leto got it and then he eventually sold it and uh and then so when in one of my uh novels then um you see the the full that you really go into lookout mountain labs much more the backstory to the series is that um um the, the prequel really goes into into that more but the um Lookout Mountain Labs is the is the location for this um, production company called Ehro, and Ehro is working with um, the the Nevermind agency to do exactly what you were saying to to create these movies that are propaganda and getting people to believe things for for their agenda. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's the whole reading Glossolalia at least, and I'm just starting. The second one, remember to recycle, but it's, you start to get, the it is that what I talked about, this confusion, disorientation, but that would be what, it, so reading it, I'm feeling that in, in a good way, like I'm going on the journey and I'm, those are the emotions. And then when you talk about things like Lookout Mountain Labs, where who the hell knows what they shot and, and, and we know what special effects can, how good they are, um, it sort of makes you realize if you were involved in all this, you would be questioning almost every what is real. Lookout Mountain Air Force Station, a photographic installation of the Aerospace Audiovisual Service. Military Airlift Command, and home of the 1352nd Photographic Group, containing facilities to accomplish all phases of photography. Staffed by both civilian and military filmmakers of the United States Air Force. The administrative function is housed in a portion of this modern building in the San Fernando Valley, a 15-minute courier drive from the main gate. The organization's mission photographic documentation of Air Force activities, the production of scientific films, technical films, training films, informational motion pictures, or the Atomic Energy Commission, for joint Army and Air Force exercises, for civil defense, for the Air Force, as well as other government agencies. Films requiring animation may get their start in this division. The artist inking this cell is only one of an experienced team with special skills in all phases of technical animation. The completed cell, as it is finally photographed here, must often effectively portray an abstract or extremely complex idea, the workings of intricate mechanisms or a cross-section of an atomic weapon. The camera division is completely equipped for both stage and location photography. In just a moment, we'll see some clips from documentary coverage and the many productions that have passed through this laboratory. Laboratory operations require a high degree of skill and scientific control to process the many types of film handled here and exposed by not only our production unit, but others dispersed around the world. Sound requirements are fulfilled in a completely rebuilt and modern department. Incorporating equipment that will allow technicians to transfer 12 effects tracks simultaneously. How does this all come together? What are the films like that are produced here? Well, here in one of our projection rooms, Let's have a seat and take a brief look at some of our typical accomplishments. 
The Air Force Missile Mission, starring Jimmy Stewart. Produced and photographed here at Lookout Mountain to explain weapons and policy. To show how both planes and missiles are needed for our defense. Newscaster Walter Cronkite introduced and narrated another of our films, Alert in the Pacific, showing how and where the Air Force is deployed. In a series of people-to-people -people films, we are also helping the East to meet the West. 